Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today's video is going to be how I roll my hair with my hot rollers. This is a highly requested video. I get asked in almost every single video that my hair is curly. Uh, how do I use my hot rollers? What hot rollers I use? So since it's been a very long time since I've done a video like this, I am going to walk you through what I do and I hope my rollers will show because I have them plugged in. These are the rollers I use. They are Nano Titanium, the Babyliss Pro. They are all the same size. That's what's very important. You don't need rollers that are really big and really small. These are all one size. You get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve rollers. This should be enough. Sometimes if I want my hair really va 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 voom, I do have another set and I will incorporate them. Anyway, these are about a an inch and a half. They have like a little velvet finish on them and a split. They come with their own clips this style but they also come with this style which i think is a necessity all right so that is my roller set and what i have done first is i blow dry my hair and today i'm going to tell you everything i did including the products i used so for my shampoo i use the intense repair uh, shampoo by monate my conditioner is the intense repair treatment conditioner that was done on my scalp, the Intense Repair Conditioner, and on my ends, I used the Monate Replenish Mask. And I will tell you, before I went to bed, I did my oil treatment, the Rejuvenique. That's what I use on my scalp. I take about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe 10 drops, very small drops, and then I just massage my scalp, and I go to bed, and in the morning, I just shampoo. So what? on my ends, I use the Rejuva beads. I'm telling you, I use less. I'm going to show you what I use. I, sh I use about that much, and then I just massage it into my fingertips, and I run it onto the ends of my hair, only my ends. I don't put it anywhere else. And, and the Rejuva beads split end mender is to be used before any other product. So I put that on my ends, and then I forgot to bring my tube of it, but I use the um, blow cream blow blowout cream on my hair and that's what's on my hair let me show you the brushes I use four brushes I do round brush and I don't it, I didn't do any particular style today I just wanted to get my hair dry and having your hair fully dried is very important your hair must be fully dry or the curls not going to take and also if you go out into a humid day where the humidity is crazy and you have damp hair, you're going to get poof. Your hair is going to just poof out more if it's not thoroughly dry. So thoroughly drying your hair is very important if you have hair like me that is frizzy. Okay, okay. so when I'm blow drying my hair, I use the, I think these are by um, Olivia Garden. Yes, they are Olivia Garden. And this is their Nano Thermic Ceramic Ion Brush. And this one here is probably just about two inches. They do have a really big one. That one, unless you want just like a lot of volume and no wave, that's when you would use that one. But I use these, and these are great uh, brushes. I love them. I have about 10, okay? You will so you also need a paddle brush, and it doesn't really matter the size. Appropriate for your hair, I guess. This one, I have the large one because it's appropriate for my long hair. So that brush you need and I'm going to need this for doing my rollers okay smoothing out the hair so now my blow dryer the blow dryer I use is the Bevelis Pro Nano Titanium made in Italy Portofino model I love this blow dryer I will list and link everything below that I talk about uh, and my rollers are difficult to find I know a lot of people look on Amazon and Amazon you have to really search. So there's only two places that I have found you can buy them. So I will link them below for you, the all one size. Um, if you're somebody who just likes volume in your hair, they do sell larger rollers that you can just get a nice volume. And if you're somebody who likes like ringlet granny curls or you have really short hair, then they do have um, really small rollers, but they do, they serve me no purpose. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just going to, I don't, there's no rhyme or reason. Notice my, my part is just wherever it fell during blow drying. And then I take my fingers 
and I will start at the crown. And you don't want to take too much hair. You want to take just enough hair that it sits on the roller nicely. Now, you are going to see my roots, my friends, because but anyway, um, you're just going to take that hair and I'm going to bring it just slightly forward. You don't want to over direct it. I'm just going to bring it slightly forward, brush through it to make sure there's no tangles or knots. And then I'm going to take my rollers. I'm going to bend down so you can see. And you want to make sure that the ends of your hair are flat to that roller. You don't want them kinked at all. And then I have a lot of tension on this. I want to roll that very tight. Then I take my fingers and I, I roll it so that the hair stays on the roller. It's going to flare out when you get towards the scalp, but that's okay. Most of the hair will be on. I have a lot of tension and it's very tight. All right, so then I take the first little clip and I will clip that in, okay, all the way. Now that's not going to secure my hair. So I do have some black ones. You can buy these at Sally's or you can order them on Amazon. So you'll see black and white in my head. I'm going to go ahead and clip that and it will secure that roller into place. All right, so I'm just going to do the basic set. There are several ways that I do roll my hair for certain looks. I never really plan a hairstyle uh, unless we're going out for a special occasion and then you know, I'll know the way I want my hair to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I don't make parts in my head or anything like that. I'm just going to pull it forward. And now I'm just gonna take another section and I'm gonna go right in front of that other roller. I'm going to bring it, comb it so it's smooth, grab my next roller and do the same thing. I'm going to smooth those ends right down and around and I can feel them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and roll back. That's another thing. If you want to wear your hair down the middle with your volume this way, you would part your hair in the center. I may come back from time to time and do different looks because I know that hot rollers, um, a lot of people do like to use them, but they don't know how. So now I'm just going to go off to the side here a little bit and pick up a piece. This is just because I like my front just, front just to fall wherever it wants, so I don't want to have a definite part going on. Again, I'm going to go all the way to the end. Now, I don't want to twist those ends either and lay them underneath and then just continue to roll. All right. And I'm just going to finish up the top. Oh, I got to put a clip in or it's not going to stay tight. I have to have the clips. And hair like this will fall off a little bit. That's okay. Uh, if you, that bothers you, then just take a, a more narrow amount. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take that small amount of hair there. I'm slouched down so you can see me here, my friends. And I'm going to go ahead and I want to make sure. See, I have some ends because my hair is layered there. So I have some ends that I want to make sure are smooth. So I just do it until they are laid all the way down. By taking that extra second to do that, when you take your hair out of your rollers, it will then have a smoother curl. If you roll it up with, you know, your ends just crimping, you may have a little frizzy look when you're done. So let me sit up. I'm just, I'm just chilling with you guys. So, um, all right. Now, uh, for my, my sides, I'm just going to roll them under. So I'll show you how to do the first one. And then I'm going to fast forward just a little bit. Not a lot. I won't be saying anything. So you won't be missing my conversation. All right. So here, I'm just going to take this section here. Now this is where I over direct. I don't know if you guys can see it. Many ask the color of my natural hair. There it is, white. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to, this I want to pull up directly straight up because that will give me some volume. And I love volume. As my Southern friends say, the higher the hair, the closer to God. Well, now this okay. one, I wrap it around and then it's smooth though. Notice it's not twisted. And we just, there's the ends. You want to make sure that you hold them so they're underneath. And then we just go ahead and clip them in. And we will also take one of these and there. Okay? So I'm going to do that on both sides. You will see it, but a little bit in fast forward motion. Okay? Not, not crazy.
Okay, for the back, I'm going to take a section. I'm going to comb it directly up, and then I'm going to take my roller. I have four rollers left, so I have to think, okay, I can only fit four. I'm going to do the same thing, make sure the ends are smoothed under. That is so important, my friends. Fish hooks, they call them fish hooks. You don't want little fish hooks. You want nice, smooth curl. I'm going to go ahead and put my clip in. And my big clip. Okay, so now I'm going to take one more section here. Okay, going to comb this up. My hair feels like silk, my friends. I have to tell you, I know it just feels like silk. It's unbelievable how nice these products are. Okay, see, underneath. And just because I'm putting all these rollers in doesn't mean that I have to have a fancy hairdo. When I take it out, I pretty much will know how I want to do it, depending on how it curls. And how long you keep the rollers in is very important. I will leave these rollers in until they are absolutely cool. They're very hot right now, and uh, that's the way I want them. You want them to be hot, but because they have the coating on them, they're not you're not getting as much damage as you do when you use those crazy curling irons and flat irons. And to be honest with you, I prefer the curl I get from hot rollers over curling irons. Curling irons are nice for that beachy wave or they, you know, you just want a little bend in the hair. You can get that same look with rollers. It just depends on how much you um, fuss with it after you take it out of the rollers. I'm not a fusser. And these I just curl under and kind of angle them uh, forward only because it's easiest for me to roll that way. You can roll them straight down if you like. Again, I give them a little bit of a lift. I pull them out and you'll see all my little baby hairs coming out there. And when I get to those, I will just pick them up and put them in. Okay? so that they smooth out. Underneath there, in the back of my hair, I have um, shorter hair for some reason, and it's ringlets. So when I blow dry it, that's when I use my paddle brush back there so that I can really straighten those ringlets out. It's weird, I just have them just on the nape of my neck, just these tiny little ringlets. Okay, so this is, that is it. That is how I roll my hair for just a, an everyday hairstyle. Of course, you can use this for fancy dancy because when I take it down, many of you will think it's a fancy hairstyle. For me, it's just a polished look, okay? Um, I don't really go a lot of places. If, if I'm just blow drying my hair like I was, um, although I must say the frizz in my hair is taming a bit. I am waiting to take these products to Florida with but, me. But um, when I blow dry my hair, that's when I'll usually pull it back because once I go outside and the humidity hits it, um, the top layer of hair will just start to, you know, go crazy on me. And then that is when I feel an older woman makes herself look old is when her hair looks like that. So that's why for me, just adding a little bit of bend with the rollers gives me a much more polished look. So I'm going to go and do a get ready with me video now and I will come back with the finished look. Of course, I will have makeup on in that video when I come back. So um, I'll be back. All right, my friends, I am back. I just finished a tutorial on this makeup look. The link will be below for you. Uh, and I'm going to take my hair out of the rollers. So I leave my rollers in, as I mentioned, until they are completely cool. I don't, however, walk outside in them. Uh, I stay in the house and I usually am going right into my makeup room and putting my makeup on if I'm curling my hair, okay? So they have, I mean, the video took me a little bit longer. They've probably been, been in my hair for about 45 minutes, but they cool down probably in about a half an hour, I would say, is the time that I usually have my rollers in my hair. So I'm just going to remove the clips and I'm going to take the rollers out and they will come out very easily for you. And you can see the type of curl that I'm getting, okay, from them. And I don't touch them at all until I'm done with my whole head. So, right, I'm so I'm just going to continue on removing the rollers and they will come out of the hair very easy. And if they get a little stuck, just give them a light. You don't want to pull and pull on that curl. You just want to give them a light helping. Okay, just a light helping.
Okay, my hair is out of the rollers and I have not brushed it. I will not brush my hair. All I will do is take my hair and I will just go ahead and shake out the curls just lightly. I'm not going crazy. Okay, okay so just manipulate it lightly. And then if you want your hair on the side, just let it fall where it's going to fall. And then that is pretty much it. Now I would probably just take some spray and spray like this and then I might lift up in the root area but my ends are all just they still have a nice wave to them and that would be pretty much what I would do. And now if you're someone who likes it more casual with more wave instead of curl you just take your fingers and lightly go through it and you create a totally different feel to the look. And if you're so someone that prefers it more in the middle like this with less curl, you would then take your hands and just lightly go through your hair. And if you're somebody who's into the texturizing, you could texturize at this point. And then you get more of that beachy look. So if you'll notice, the more you play with it, the less curl you're going to have. And if I wanted to wear it on the side now with more curl, I would just lift up the hair and spray as I lift to give myself more fullness. So there are lots of ways you can create different styles just by rolling it one way. You could tuck this behind and then take all of this and just bring it so it's more, now this is lending itself more to that, the 50s look where the women were very elegant and the hair was more smooth. You could put a beautiful rhinestone clip on one side or if you're somebody who likes your hair all around your face, you could bring it down and wear it like this. You can also smooth it out and you'll just have many different styles to it, many. And that's how I use my hot rollers. Of course, as I said, uh, if I really like to have my hair va 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 boom, I will use two sets of rollers and use less hair on each one. And um, you know, my head's a little overcrowded, but it works, all right? So I hope this tutorial has helped you in some way. And remember, the more you play with your hair, the more wave you're going to hair have. And if you're somebody who um, likes to have more curl, just take it out of the rollers and give it a nice shake and that is it. All right? So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.